Hey guys, this is Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today we're out in Plano, Texas, finishing up a project here. We'll go ahead and show you uh, what all we're doing right after the intro. All right, so we've uh, finished project. This has uh, been a couple phases. We did a full pre-wire uh, for portions of this. Uh, with what we could do um, uh, a couple months ago. Um, this whole house has been remodeled. Um, we did pre-wiring for uh, cameras outside as well as uh, audio video uh, in this room. Uh, today we just have to finish up some wiring for um, speakers and uh, a little bit of networking for the access points. Uh, in the living room here we're doing the Sony Master Series, their uh, flagship 4K. The 83 inch A90J OLED. This is an awesome TV. We love these TVs. Um, we're going to have that mounted right here. Right underneath that, we're going to have the uh, Sonos Arc soundbar. This is going to be a 5.2 configuration in this room. We're going to have uh, two of the Klipsch um, CDT or um, DS180 CDTs in the ceiling over here. Uh, we're going to have two Sonos subs in this room as well. So this is this room is going to rock. Um, we've got two of the, um, over here, we actually provided everything in the closet over here. Um, so we've got, uh, obviously still some construction going on, but we're going to do a 15U uh, strong FS series rack. You've seen these in a lot of our videos. We love these. Um, customer just had AT&T uh, brought in here. Obviously we pre-wired in here. Uh, it's got its own um, 20 amp circuit in this closet. Uh, electrician put in. Um, so we're going to put um, all this in here. Uh, we're going to have two of the brand new Arachnus Wi-Fi 6 access points, the A and 520s. Um, so we're going to have one at the front of the house and one at the back. So we've got full um, uh, Wi-Fi outside the house. We've got um, we've got um, a handful of the uh, Ring uh, Stick Up Cam X line. So that's the dealer only um, camera line. You've got uh, lifetime warranty. Uh, we've got three-year warranty with lifetime recording included in that cost. So it's um, only available from your local dealer. So contact us if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area or um, your local dealer wherever you are for Ring products. So we're going to go ahead and get to work on uh, finishing this out and mounting the TV. So we've got the uh, Sony 83-inch OLED, the A90J on the wall. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I've got the Sonos Arc with as well. We're going to go ahead and start measuring for the in-ceiling speakers for the rear that we're going to have here. Uh, customer is going to have two chairs. Actually, he's got two of these. This couch is going. Um, so they're going to be basically centered on the TV uh, behind us. So we're going to effectively have the speakers centered uh, equidistance for, uh, the t for the seating position. So um, customer is not necessarily worried about being centered on this wall or anything. He wants it um, done correctly for... Uh, seating position. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start measuring that out. So now we've got our, we've done check for studs and got all of our uh, stencils drawn. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it here or not, um, but uh, we've got our speakers drawn out here. Uh, I've got uh, our tarp and everything vacuum set up, so we're going to start cutting. So uh, we've just been working and uh, forgot to, you know, um, record what we're doing. So uh, we've got access point number one up here uh, in the one side of the house, the bedroom. We've got our TV sound bar mount on the wall. Um, we've got our two speakers right here. Um, we've got one Sonos sub here and another one over in the corner over here. Um, and now we are, we have another access point in the corner up there. Um, now we're working on the closet up here. We're putting our brush plates in, organizing all the cables so we can come in and terminate. So I realize we have jumped ahead a lot. We are pretty much done. We're just finishing buttoning up a few things here. But we've got the 83-inch A90J from Sony on the wall here with the Sonos Arc. Uh, over here in the corner, we've got one Sonos Sub Gen 3. Um, over here, a customer has not moved into the house yet. They are... Um, just got a few things here, but uh, so that's why it's so empty. But we've got another Sonos sub right there. We have two clips CDT, or uh, excuse me, the DS180 CDTs in the ceiling right here for surrounds. Um, so this is a full 5.1 uh, system in here in this room. Uh, nice and clean look. Uh, we'll show you a demo of that here in a moment. Uh, we've got in the bedroom here um, a um, new Wi-Fi 6, the AN520. This is pretty much one of the first ones out uh, from Arachnus. Uh, we've got one in here on one side of the house. 
Um, and then in the study over here, we've got another one right in that corner. So good even distribution. Over in this closet here, we've got and um, this is perfect for these small closets here. So uh, we've got a strong FS series rack. Um, we've got all the cables coming in here. Um, have a uh, we worked with the contractor um, and had them put in a dedicated 20 amp circuit for this closet um, fiber and everything's coming in here. Um, we have an auxiliary HDMI cable so the customer can plug in their laptop or whatever else they want to. Um, in this rack here, we've got the um, I'll open this up. We have the new Core 1 from Control 4, Arachnus 310 router, a 210 16 port switch. Uh, here we have a um, Sony 800M2 or Mark II 4K Ultra HD Blu ray player. We have a Roku Ultra and a Direct TV box. Um, this is their Direct TV stream box. Behind this rack, on the back side, we have a binary uh, 660 uh, 4K uh, 4x2 matrix. So all of this is going with a AV Pro Edge 4K HD based T kit to going all the way over the TV. So we don't have any loss. Everything works very well. We don't have to worry about um, AVRs or anything in this system. We have a Sonos amp for the rear speakers. There's some extra remotes right here for right now. Uh, the AT&T router, which is set up as just a modem. We've got it going in pass through basically. And of course the uh, watt box, this is the Oversee QPS 1100, so 1100 volt amp uh, with current load. I mean, this is this sits real cool here. We got uh, over an hour of runtime um, on that battery backup. So we'll go ahead and show you what we're going to do here. Oh, forgot to mention we also have uh, Quick Set um, Zigbee. Uh, this is the Zigbee Pro made for Control 4. We got uh, lock there on. Uh, Two of the doors here and one on the front. Um, all the hardware is uh, being changed out to match this. Um, like I said, they're still not done with the house yet. So, um, got our SR260 here. We've got watch and you've got your options. So, you've got Direct TV, Roku, Blu ray, and auxiliary HDMI. So, if we select Direct TV, it will turn the TV on, wakes up our Sonos Arc, and we got this. So all the buttons control our devices. So we got guide. It'll bring up the guide and you can navigate and do everything you want to do here. Back, of course, you know, everything does what you want to do. Channels, everything just controls this, this correctly. Um, let's say that you want to go and watch your Roku. Go down to your Roku. It changes the input on the matrix. Um, so we've got our Roku here. And this controls your Roku up down right left so of course the buttons you want to remember on a sr260 when you're dealing with the roku um, when you're within an app pressing back will take you back to the a screen within that app if you want to go to the main menu hit menu and this will take you back to the main menu of the roku if you want to you know if you notice on your apps you have on the top right you see hit star for options you have the star button on the bottom left of the remote or info does the same thing so if you wanted to do something like move this app you can actually come here and it gives you your options you hit the star you can scroll up and go move channel for example move it right left however you want to go and it does that now you can of course hit watch and come down to blu-ray And it will turn the Blu-ray player on, switch everything over. Blu-ray player has to power up. We've got that. You can, of course, do everything you want to do here. And if we hit auxiliary HMI, it would change to that input. You don't have a net laptop or computer or anything plugged at the moment, so we're going to leave that alone. Now, of course, when you're done, all you have to do is hit off, and it will turn off the TV and everything. So that's it for this portion of it, and um, we can show you what we've got with the app. So now we're in our app. So you've got options here. We've got our living room. You can of course select your other areas. This is a very limited system at the moment, um, but you can go to garage if you wanted to, and you go to security, and you've got your door lock. You have a few options. You can actually manage the lock, or you can favorite to the room. If you had favored the room, now that lock is in the room. You don't actually have, even have to go into security to do that. So if you hit the lock, you can arrange or remove favorites, whatever you want to do with that. 
but if you go to here, it will actually toggle the lock. If we want to go in further, you can hear it. The door is actually not shut all the way, so it is jammed. So we can have to go fix that. However, um, if we want to manage the lock, we go to manage. We can go to, you've got your main one. We can go and add a user here. And we can do test. We can add a code, whatever we want it to be. Give it a four digit code. And then you have access. You can turn on and off access here, whether or not, let's say you got someone that comes, whatever it is, and you just want to be able to turn on and off access to that, whatever it is. You can actually even restrict it to certain times. So you can come here and restrict it. You can go to, you want it to be daily. You can give a date range. If you have someone coming in from out of town, you want to only give them certain days, um, you can do for that. So let's say you want to do daily. You can select the day. You want it to be Monday. And you can even select times. So you can give it a certain time range, however you want it to be. Um, and you can apply it to which door lock you want it to go to. And you hit done, and then that now that user name will automatically update into the lock. So we're going to cancel out of this so it's not staying in there. Um, but you can do any number of things you want. We've got those set to living room. And now this, of course, does replicate anything the remote does. So if you hit watch, if you hit direct TV, you now have controls for your everything. You can do that all through here. So the TV now, as you can see, is on to the direct TV stream. If anything you want to do on here does that. So we can go ahead and hit off. And then we're done for the day. Turn off room. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy videos like this or projects from with audio, video, networking, automation, whole home audio, uh, anything like that, anything media related, please consider subscribing, uh, show your support for our channel. Uh, hit that bell icon so you can notify of future videos as well and give us a big thumbs up. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas, uh, we can be reached at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Uh, we can do full system design. We're authorized dealers uh, for Klipsch, Sonos, all the products you see in our videos here as well. So buying products from us is like buying directly, directly from the manufacturers. You have full manufactured warranty and everything else, uh, just as if you bought it directly, directly from the manufacturer. You just get our expertise and uh, uh, service to install everything as well. So again, 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Thanks, guys.